I'm looking forward to it. Aha. Uh -huh. How's everything going upstairs, huh? Well, uh, doors are all shut, and there's lots of loud voices, except when Tiffany Bell, I'd for you to get out of here. Honey, I'm leaving! Yeah, I'm working on it. All I've got to do is find some place for me to live. Uh, maybe, uh... Bloody agent, he doesn't keep putting me on hold. Oh, don't give up the ship. Maybe you should, uh, go with me, huh? I can wait. No, it's gonna take a while. Go on, All catch right. you later. All right. Oh, Robert. I'd like to speak to you. Uh, can you tell uh, your sister that I'm leaving? May I say something? Sure. I hope for Tiffany's sake and for Sean's that the wedding goes smoothly. I'm sure it will. They're both a couple of troopers. I'm not worried about them. I'm more worried about the maid of honor and the best man. Well, all you have to do is be uh, friendly and happy and stuff like that. Right. And not read anything more into it than is there. I agree. Well, I guess where you and I are concerned, the music ended some time ago. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. And I think I'm probably ready to do what Julian and I always planned. I might just get married myself. Good. Good, good luck. I hope you catch the bouquet. Please don't leave yet. I wanted you, um... Where'd Robert go? He's gone. Whoa! Julian! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. I'm glad I found you. You want to go somewhere and talk? Where? Anywhere. Listen, I'm going to New York tonight with Pop. I want you to come with me. Come on, let's let's go get a bite to eat. Are you hungry? We'll talk about it. You remember the day we met? Yeah. Oh, it's like a thousand years ago. I can still see it, like last week. I can see you walking across the campus, what you were wearing. <clears throat> Remember those glasses you used to wear? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that was it, you know, that first day. There's no looking, no planning, bam. I was in love with you. I remember that feeling. You don't feel that now, do you? Not exactly. In any case, New York is out of the question. Honey, do you mean for now or for good? My sister's getting married. I have my business here. For now or for always? It was a nice dinner, Julian. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry we had to go through this nightmare to find each other again. But you know there's no such thing as coincidence. We knew that the day we met. So, maybe you'll... Maybe you'll see that again when I'm gone. Anyway, if you need me, you know where to find me. Ah, well, three coffee makers and four ice buckets. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, <laughs> live on ice coffee. Huh? Mm, and love. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, let me make sure I got this straight. Mm -hmm. It was actually Edward's idea. Well, yeah, yeah, sort of. Then Lila picked up on it, and I, I clinched it. I'm just 
glad you're happy about it. Oh, honey, it's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Good. Now, I wonder what I can fix for us to eat to go with our iced coffee. We certainly have enough pots and pans and place, <laughs> place to eat it. Honey, <laughs> I'm exhausted. I gotta go to bed. Oh, it's a great idea. No, 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 We're gonna wait. I gotta go home to my bed alone. Oh, well, let's okay. look. At least let me drive you there. No, because if you drive me, then you might want to kiss me goodnight. Oh, yeah. I mean, like this. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. 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 Mm, exactly like that. One thing will lead to another. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm going. See you later. See you. Yeah. Almost? Almost. Let go, buddy? Oh, yeah. Found lots of places that I didn't want. Ah. According to this real estate agent who called them Mrs. Evans, mm. you don't have to look any further. Mm. Mm. What'd she say? Said to call her first thing in the morning. She has the perfect spot for you. Her exact words were yeah. real estate nirvana. She can hardly wait to show it to you. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder whether it mightn't be quicker if I built my own place. Either that or maybe move her into a hotel. Why are you so anxious to get out of here? Well, I guess the truth of it is I just don't want to trip over Cheryl anymore. I know, Robert, but it's really tougher on her. She's still in love with you. 